Okay, family, before I even get started, man, I just want to, uh, do just say thank you again for everybody that's tuned in to me up to this point. Everybody that subscribed, everybody that super chatted, everybody that's just congratulated me, uh, the awards I've won, everything, everything that's wrapped up into my channel. You accepted my family, you accepted my wife, every man, when I say, I mean, everything, but today, today, today. We hit 500 episodes, man, of the lifestyle, man. Yes, today we hit 500. So this is episode 500. You feel what I'm saying? Dude, that is the craziest thing ever. And I literally, to be honest, I literally had two other videos that were supposed to come out before this one. But I read a comment and somebody asked about a particular watch. They wanted to get the schematics and everything on it. So I'm on my 500th episode. I'm going to do a review. And not just any review, man. Shout out to the Big Time Gang. What up, family? Big Time Gang, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I dedicate this episode to my man, Tommy, Big Time. Dude, thank you so much, man, for paving the way. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for believing in your boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up, big time gang? <laughs> Yo, what's going on, family man? Thank you guys for being here on the lifestyle for my 500th episode. Again, this video is dedicated to my man Tommy Big Time. If you have not been introduced to him, man, get over to his channel. You can find his link down in my description. Now, let's jump into this here Android. By request, let's go through the schematics of this watch. First and foremost, pretty i mean this is a very comfortable dial this watch is pretty big 50 millimeter but and i think it's 14 millimeters thick if i'm not mistaken uh it is big but man this thing has so much character on it man first and foremost the uh you can see the android logo on there but look at the mother of pearl it's so radiant man it's like i believe it's called the platinum mother of pearl and you see the number the little indices around it now one thing i did find out I thought that rotor actually spun just to make this, it's just an aesthetic. It's actually like Wayne designed this watch just to give that rotor, like the rotor is actually powering it, but it, it really doesn't power anything, man. It's just, you know, an aesthetic. Something that's, I think is a weird, man, that's a crazy design because you don't see watches like this. Uh, this watch was designed here in America. However, you know, the parts and everything else, like it's Japanese movement which is an nh38a which you can tell right there anytime you see that that's the open heart the nh38 is called the open heart so on the back the case back as you can see the rotor is under there and if i took this case back off you'll see the inner workings which i'm not going to do that i don't even want to touch my i don't want to interfere with my 660 feet of water resistance on this thing because i would have to if i take that or lose I will have to put a crown back, I mean, put a, a the rubber grommet back in there, a new one. Now, this is a mineral crystal, is a hardened mineral crystal, so uh, you can scratch this thing up. Now, I know there are some hacks on YouTube, man. University of YouTube always got some stuff that can fix you up. Uh, just type in, if you scratch a crystal, how to actually, if you can get it out. You know, I'm pretty sure there's a compound you can use. Never done it before, and if I did it, I'm sending it to uh, Mr. Hoover. <laughs> Hold up, wait a minute. I gotta finish this, man. OCD. <sighs> you know, I, I inherit that OCD from Tommy. Just letting you know. I want to get that polish, man. And you know, this was actually one of the pieces I, that I received last year for 2021. Um, I feel like sometimes when you do a review on a watch, you know, it's the review will take place of you actually going out finding this watch. Now, is it worth the money? When this was out, uh, and I did some research on it, this watch was $197 on uh, Shop NBC. Then you're talking about back in the day. This is past 2010, I think like 2008 or something like that. Uh, it was like Shop NBC. Now it is called, um, it's not Evine, it's called Shop HQ. 
So, as you can see, the only problem I have with this watch, of course, is that I, I like to have that scissor style deployment class, but, you know, because this thing was gifted to me, and uh, once I close it, I don't see it. And that right there, I think is absolutely beautiful, the uh, design. Wing did a great job when he was designing these watches. Comfortable bracelet. It's not like an over complex design, man, but you know, it, it is nice. Almost gives it a dressy look. But overall, to get this watch going, you can unscrew the crown. You can actually, you know, wind it up yourself. Make sure I push that back in there. Or you can give it, you know, a shake, put it on the wrist. I mean, after you set your time, put it on your wrist and wear it out. I mean, and that, that's it, man. So the model number for this watch is Alpha Delta 803. Uh, and they call it the Rotomatic. And you can find this with the spinels around it. You can find this in, uh, I believe, the uh, AD804. Has the rose tone with the leather strap, which that one is beautiful. I mean, you talking, you think this one dressy? Oh, yeah, that one. And that one has a dark mother pearl. So... Happy hunting, trying to find these. <laughs> is it worth it? I think it is. Um, pretty solid watch. If I can find another, if I can find one with the spinels on it, I would definitely get that one too. You know, so I can have two Androids in my collection. Which, again, if you go on Android, no, no, no. Yeah, AndroidUSA.com, it will take you to... Um, It'll show you all the eBay sellers that are selling these type of watches. So that um, email, or actually that, I'm sorry, the website is actually closed down and shut down. Uh, now it is Aragon. So if you want to get something similar to this, I don't know if he, I haven't seen any designs that Wing is making that looks like this one. So have fun trying to find this one, man. Y'all stay tuned for wrist shots and photos I've taken of this watch, man. And as always, man, until the next Lightning Strike family, you all be blessed. I was so excited about doing this, I almost forgot the most important part, man. Dang. Hit the lights. Ah. Yeah, boy. So your boy had to go out and get that black light, man. Shout out to Tommy for this one. So you see this thing glow. Voila. Hmm. Reminds you of a lightsaber. And there you have it. All right, family. No, for real, I'm gone. Y'all be blessed.